My guest, of course, uh, is an Emmy award-winning actress who played Phoebe on Friends. She also created and starred in the critically acclaimed series The Comeback and Web Therapy. Her latest series, Housebroken, premieres May 31st on Fox. Please welcome Lisa Kudrow. So I thank you for being here in person. That fun. Isn't it and nice? It's safe. We're good. Uh, we're very safe. Yeah. We've both been uh, vaccinated 15 times. Yeah. Which is... I don't think that's too much. No, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think 15 is just right. Huh. You know, I have to say, I've known you for a very long time. And when this whole, uh, you know, the pandemic broke out and we all went into quarantine and I would talk to you on Zoom, there was part of me that would think, you know, knowing Lisa the way I do, I think she's suited to quarantine. I think you've always wanted to be quarantined. A reason to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted a reason, but that's kind of your natural state is can I stay at home? Right. I love being home. It's yeah. the best. Because I remember, uh, you know, back in the day, you know, when we were young, you know, super young, early 20s, and I knew you, I was always wanting to like hit the clubs and get out there and rave. And, pu and push it to the edge, and you're always like, no, no, and people should stay home. You know what I mean? Do you remember that? I just made that all up. I know. I never went out, I never. It's funny, and I met you in an improv class, and that was too hard for me to say yes, and. Uh... It was, what you're saying is the information I put out there, well, Andy, you knew the later me, the guy that wanted to rave and club and just push it to the max. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's Boy, how you that do guy, it. That, that that's guy's how you a do nut. it. Yeah, that's yeah. called yes and. Yes. Andy agreed yeah. with the crazy information I put out. Didn't yeah. we go to a club ever? I don't know. I remember seeing, like, being with you, it's a dark place. There's too many people around for me. Right. Because no, that's I always was, been my setting. I too danced at a I was a dancer at a club, uh -huh. and you came yeah, to check, it, check me I out. Don't... I remember that very clearly. Okay. <laughs> I think I remember that. Yeah. And you shouted, I remember you shouting, you don't have the body for this. Very loudly. Oh, now I do remember. <laughs> he was the <laughs> only go-go dancer whose cage was court-ordered. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can someone let me out? No, no, you need to stay in the cage. Sorry, state rules. You need rules. to stay in the cage. Now, what if you've implanted these memories, and so like 10 years from now, I write a book, Conan was a go-go dancer. That's what I want. Yeah. I, I do keep thinking that if I keep saying this ridiculous stuff, someone's going to pick it up somewhere, and then it's going to end up in a book like, for a while, Conan was a go-go dancer. Right, but is that what you want? Falsehoods about yourself? Yeah, they're oh, much better than the no. truth. No, you like the truth. Yeah. You studied history. <laughs> okay. You like the truth. Well, except so about myself. I. I want lies that make me look cool. <laughs> um, so many people are excited about this Friends reunion. You just shot it. Yeah. What can you tell us? Everybody wants to know, and there's just been this veil of secrecy about yeah. the whole thing, but I thought, I know Lisa, I've yeah. known her for a long time. If I get her here, she'll tell me everything. I'll tell you everything I'm allowed to say. Okay. Do you really get a, did you really get a memo of what you're allowed to say? Mm -hmm. here's, here's what I can say, okay. Um, key phrase that we're allowed to say, okay, according to Warner Media or HBO Max. Joined by special guests, we will all, the cast, um, we all, shoot. It's good, I like it, I like it so far. And the fact that you made a little bit of an error there adds excitement to it, like this is really happening. It's real and there's pressure. And... Yeah. Okay, okay. Joined by special guests, we all, the cast, return to the original soundstage, stage 24, on the Warner Brothers studio lot for an unscripted reunion special in celebration of the show. So who, <laughs> isn't that exciting? That's what you're allowed to say? <laughs> you know, to tempt people. Yeah, to sure. Want to see well, it. man. So I think that's Whoever thrilling. wrote that knows showmanship. They know. <laughs> uh, that's actually, it's, it's kind of dangerous. Yeah. The way it's phrased, <laughs> it could cause a stampede. <laughs> also, stage 24. Yeah. Like everyone knows, no, you did not go back to stage 24 <laughs> <laughs> for friends. Come on. You know, I, uh, <laughs> we're wrapping things up and we're obviously not at Warner Brothers right now, but I, we were there for, you know, almost, we were there for 10 years, a decade at, at Warner Brothers. And yeah. I constantly saw uh, trams with tourists go through Warner Brothers and people were always wanting to see the Friends Fountain the iconic Friends Fountain. Yeah. And you'd hear them go by like, where's the Friends Fountain? 
And sometimes they'd come, they'd like drive by me, and the tour guide would say, and that's Conan O'Brien. And they'd be like, where's the French about? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm a person. Um, did you guys, you can tell me this, did you reenact the iconic, you know, opening where you guys are all frolicking in the fountain? No. But, we, <laughs> <laughs> but I said it with excitement, right? No, but. But. Uh huh. We're at the fountain, and there's footage that I've never seen before that I was really excited about. Oh, cool. So, so I mean, if you do like the founder, interested in how we did that, then yes, that will be kind of thrilling. And, you'll say, and what I like is that it sounds like you're going to look at a lot of footage that people haven't seen before, and you guys will take us to that moment in your <laughs> or life. Or look at footage that we haven't seen before. Well, okay. And that is like clips from the show that right. some of us still never saw. Well, that's the other thing is you never watched a lot of the shows. Oh, I shouldn't say that. You never watched all of Friends. Right, right. Because uh, at, at first, yes, we all got together. We watched every episode. But, you know, like uh, the last few years and I had a child. And look, honestly, it wasn't like I'm not interested and who cares. It was more, I have to be just honest. I'm so self-conscious of, OK, everybody, shh. I'm on TV now. You know, I can't do I that. I have no problem doing that. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gather round. I'm on television. Kids. Quiet. <laughs> and we begin. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I'm bleeding. Quiet. <laughs> Bleed and we'll take her to the hospital later. You but... can do your homework later. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the SATs another day. You're watching me now. <laughs> Your son, I, I don't want to embarrass your son, but he's grown up into one of the coolest, handsomest guys I've ever seen wow. in my life. It's comical uh, <laughs> just uh, how good looking and nice and suave he is. Uh, does, does Julian know the show? Does he watch the show? Or is that weird for him? Like, I can't watch a show that my mom's on. Yeah, we haven't talked about whys. <laughs> I just know that he, has, he hasn't seen every episode. Really? I mean, no, yeah. no. I know for a while in school people were watching it and he kind of felt like he had to so that he can participate in what everyone else was watching. Um, and he did really think that everybody else was very funny <laughs> on the show. That's, and a, then that's he, a classic kid, just like everyone else is funny. That's classic. That, and it, that is true, I think, for all of us. Well, I'm not sure, I can't, I don't know. But I know that he, you know, he would say, but, and you're funny too. <laughs> it's like, thanks. Hey, don't be too sad. <laughs> when, uh, when he was no, growing but up. Can I just, I have yeah. to say something true and nice. He was able to uh, come to the reunion, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, other, a tent, you know, not in the audience and, right. and all COVID that. Safe. And really safe, yeah. COVID safe. And afterward, uh, he came up to me and he just said, I don't know. If this is awkward or inappropriate. Can I say that I'm really proud of you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice. Yes, that was one of the very emotional things that happened to me that's not part of it. But, you know, just like, oh, it was really nice of him. Of course. He was proud. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a beautiful moment. Yeah. Not because he saw the show and went, God, she's good. Yeah. But I think, you know. <laughs> That's well, okay, too. You, I mean, he grew up a, a kind of on that set in the early years. You would bring yeah. him to the set, and he got a little confused. Like, he, I, I know that he really was obsessed with Jen. Jennifer. Aniston. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he'd fly into her lap. <laughs> like, as if, well, she's a love bug. Mm -hmm. And, he, you know, and that made sense. And I was always glad for anyone that Julian felt love for and mm -hmm. felt from. Um, but then at home, like, she'd be on TV, and he'd go, Mommy. <laughs> so that's got to be a little scarring, maybe. <laughs> I guess I remember it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for a reason. Not scarring, but just sort of, is this, well, you know, I'm kind of analytical. So I'm like, is this wishful thinking? Or do they have some kind of higher soul connection that I don't have with him? <laughs> Well, but I'm, I'm happy for both of them. Yeah. Well, I want to make sure I mention uh, Housebroken. 
in this. Oh, that this, would be good, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we, we mention everything here. Uh, <laughs> housebroken, um, your character, it's an animated show, and you are a poodle in this. And does this feel like a good fit for you, this character, this poodle? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm shaking my head no. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It does. It feels like a good fit because she's <laughs> the person who's in charge and a little controlling. You like that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, and she's pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but no, to me, what's funny about her though is that um, you know she's she she's not like funzy, but knows she kind of needs to be, so she throws it out there and it right. doesn't land. And right. I love that. When someone's trying to be something, they're just not even a little bit. But also, it's like, you're so good at, like, and one of the things that I've loved that you've done in your career after Friends is you've found all these roles and ways to be someone completely different than Phoebe. And just looking at, like, web therapy, it feels like you have a lot of fun when you're playing someone who's trying to control things. Or the comeback, you're trying to control things you're not sure why everyone's laughing always, and your sense of humor is so great, but you seem to love to play people who don't quite have that, yeah. which is like fun for you, I think. It's the most fun for me. Yeah. Because I think everyone is hilarious, potentially, right. you know? Right. Um, and, and to me, what's funny is when people just have no clue about how they're coming off. When I see it in myself, I'm mortified. I mean, it like, <laughs> it takes me out for a couple days. Right. Cause you know, how did I miss that? How did I miss that, you know? Right. But, um... Well, you're very hard on yourself. You're very self-critical. Yeah. Just this is becoming, <laughs> this is becoming a therapy session. <laughs> you're too hard on yourself is what I'm saying. But, uh, but I love that you you seem to just delight in playing these people. And it sounds like you're doing it again, playing this character who sort of wants to control things but doesn't quite understand exactly, you know, What's funny in the room? No, she doesn't. She knows she needs to lighten things up. Right. At times. That's just like one, that's just one facet of this extremely complicated animated character. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Was that written for you too on your phone? No. <laughs> I made that up myself. Uh-huh, uh -huh. It was articulate. Well, I want to mention this. Housebroken premieres May 31st uh, on 9. I'm sorry, at nine on Fox. And um, I wanted to do something kind of special, which is, as you know, we met each other at an improv class. And this is one of those crazy closing the circle moments God. because we're wrapping things up here at TBS. Yeah. And I'm getting nostalgic about all kinds of things that I've been involved with over the years. Like one of the, I don't know, really precious memories of mine is deciding when I first came out here to LA, 85, that I wanted to do improv and start trying to perform. And so I scoured around. I found that there was a class here at this theater. Yeah. And I went there, and it was one of those classes that was taught by Cynthia Seghetti. You'd put money in the jar when you came in. I came into this class, and one of the first people I saw was you in the class. This is how we met. Yep. And um, I immediately identified you as someone really special and someone really hilarious and talented who was going to do big things. And we, the, the room where we met is right there across yeah. the, the little courtyard. And I thought it might be fun. Have you been back to that room? No. Yeah. So I thought it might be fun here at the end of the segment if we would just walk over and check out I'm... sort of where we met. And, and this is an inspirational message to everybody who's in a little improv class. I swear to God. This is how you do it. You go there, you, and you meet amazing people, yep. whether it's an acting class, an improv class, or doing stand-up in a club. That's where you meet people, and you're young, and you have dreams, and it can really work out pretty beautifully. So yeah. want to go check it out? Yes. Let's go. <gasps> right now. It's I'm right so here. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, God. It's a room filled with asbestos. Oh. But don't worry. I don't believe that. That's exciting. Flanny, thank oh, you very thanks. much. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Thank you. Making me look rude always. Well. Flanny, there you go. You... I, just, I went first to test the stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>